Hello everyone and welcome back to another video or oh, welcome if you're new. I'm Cora. Hi, how are you doing? Today we're doing something that I got suggested to do in a previous video. I think it was in the cast video that I did last week. Monday? Yeah, on Monday. <laughs> um, I feel like I forget everything I do recently. I don't think that's good. But anyways, I got asked if I could show off all my custom content here and I was like, sure. <laughs> and then I started doing it and I was like, oh my God, this took way longer than I wanted it to. But hey, here it is. Um, I actually think it's 265 hairs, but that's all the ones. I left some out where I had where there's like four different versions of one hair, you know, f they got recolors from the same creator. I just left it out because I, I just put one link and then you can go onto the creator site and decide yourself which um, colors you want the hair to be in your game. Um, yeah, I didn't show all of them off individually because this video already took like, I think it took 20 minutes to record and then I feel like it took me more than 10 hours to get all the CC links together. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, it was quite a lot of work, but I'm happy it's done and I actually really love when other people do these videos because not everyone does CC links on their cast videos and I'm always looking for new custom content as you already know, I'm kind of obsessed, uh, <laughs> hence to why I gave you 265 CC links. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm gonna put them all on my Tumblr so you can go check them out there. Um, I, I'm not gonna put any of the numbers or try to match them up with the video because I can't. I can't. <laughs> like, there's simply too many, but if you want me to, I could do like uh, my 20 favorites or something and then we could go through them and I could you know, put a number to each of them so you can find it a bit easier. Also, if you want me to show off any other CC that I have, maybe like shirts or pens or jewelry or makeup, whatever you want, skin details, just let me know in the comments and then I'm open to do this again sometime. <laughs> I mean, it took a while, but it was quite rewarding actually when I got all the links together. I was like, wow, this was, was like a massive project, but I'm so happy it's done and I bet a lot of people could benefit from it, I guess, because it can be very hideous to find new CC, I guess, especially hair and stuff. And you go through like a million different tumblers and you don't like all of them. And then with me, you can kind of go through all of the links and see if you like the hair or not. But there was only one creator I couldn't get hairs from because they decided to delete their all the CC they made from Sims file share, share. So I didn't wanna, well, I wanted to respect their wish because they said to not distribute, is that the word? I think <laughs> their custom content right now at the moment. So I was like, okay, so I just put next to that number. I put that the CC is not available right now. Um, if it ever gets available again, I'll definitely make sure to go back into the list and update that. But right now they don't want that. And then there was one other creator, I believe that deleted their stuff so I couldn't find it but all of the other it was only a few it was maybe five or six hairs so it's not that many um and all of the other ones I tried to relink from the creator's actual blog I didn't want to get into sims dumb sims sims dumb <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it's actually pronounced I'm sorry um so yeah I tried to link you to the actual tumblr or blog of the creator that made the hair which uh, sometimes didn't work because the, s the link was still up, but they deleted their Tumblr or something. So I just just uh, made sure to put a link of someone that retweeted that because the Sims file share link was still there, but I didn't just want to put the Sims file share in for some reason. It's, I don't know. It, it, I know that a lot of creators have like adverts on their website because then they earn a little bit of money. So that's why I tried to actually get you the link from the actual website so you can support them at least in you know <laughs> some way I guess um, I also thought about because I noticed that there's quite a few creators I have a lot of hair from um, green llamas I think is the one that I had the most from and I know they all have patreon accounts so let me know if any of you um, are a patreon of any of the CC creators that we have in the community because I definitely thought about it I mean the lowest tiers are usually one dollar and it's not that much and then if a lot of people do it I guess it's pretty cool because they do a lot of work um, if you just think about how much work goes into creating something uh, 
yeah, I think it's kind of a nice thing. So I, I, I thought about that, but I still have to figure out which kind of people I download from the most and then I'll decide up on that who I want to. Well, if I could, I would <laughs> try to support them all. But as you know, I'm not wealthy. I'm just a student. So <laughs> always a little bit tight on money. Actually, I feel like I'm very good at saving money. How about you guys? Because I know there's a lot of people that are always low on money and they always spend money. But even though I think I spend a lot of money because I buy PC games and stuff like whenever a new stuff pack or a gameplay pack or expansion pack for The Sims comes out, I definitely buy it straight away. But I guess I don't have a lot of other expenses. Um, if you didn't know, I live in the apartment that my mom bought when I was little and she bought a new apartment with her current partner or husband now. <laughs> Still trying to get used to that. <laughs> um, and so I... She let me stay in this apartment and then she pays me a little, I guess, pocket money because I'm a student and um, usually we get student loan just like in other countries, but it depends on how much your parents earn. And since when I started studying, my mom um, married my stepdad, uh, I wouldn't have gotten that because if there's two people that earn too much, you know, and then I'd have to get money from her. So I guess that's why I can stay here. <laughs> but anyways, thanks, mom. <laughs> Glad I don't have to be homeless. <laughs> And also, um, if you live in a big city, you'll know that it's the worst trying to find an apartment and then you have to live with other people you don't know. And I mean, it can be really stressful. So I'm actually super grateful that uh, in Berlin, I actually get to live somewhere and I don't have to look for apartments. I know that a lot of students in bigger cities around the world start uni without actually having a place to live. And I could not imagine doing that. Um, that seems super scary to me. <laughs> So yeah, if you're a student, let me know. Where do you live? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I, anyways, I feel like that's such a big problem, especially here in Germany. I don't know how it is in other countries, but I'd expect that it's similar at least. Um, at least here in all the capital... Well, not all the capital. We have one capital. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> in all the bigger cities, um, we have a little bit of an issue with apartments getting too expensive for, pe for actual people to like rent them, and it's getting really ridiculous, and the they don't get paid more so it's really hard to afford something and then if I ever wanted to move out of this apartment I'd, I'd seriously have a problem because I'd go into the social field and as we all know um, people there usually don't earn that much so <laughs> uh, it could be kind of tricky to afford an apartment that you can grow old in I guess and have a family in um, and a lot of elders actually have problems to find something because I mean they only get whatever they saved up or you know it, it's it's usually not that much so <laughs> I know that they have a lot of problems problems which is terrible and then there's a lot of people who are really wealthy that have two or three apartments in different cities and um yeah <laughs> it's it's kind of a big deal here right now to be honest or like over the few last few years actually probably 10 or something it started getting really really expensive to live here which kind of sucks I'm not gonna lie so I'm really grateful that my mom invested in an apartment uh, <laughs> and I think it was actually um, you know the Berlin wall after that fell she actually bought the apartment so I guess it was still really cheap she said like back then all the apartments were super cheap um, so I guess it was really smart of her to invest into an apartment <laughs> props to you mom <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, so I feel I feel super lucky, but yeah, anyways, uh, this video is gonna come to an end in a little bit So I'm gonna leave you off right here. So like I said, let me know if you want me to show off any of the other CC um, You can find all these links on my tumblr I'll put a link down below in the description so you can find it there and Yeah, if you enjoyed this video as always don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already And I'll see you in tomorrow's video for another speed build. Bye Yeah.